Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the font dialog. So what the font dialog, dialog does is yet let the user select um, basically whatever their font they want, whatever color of font, um, the size, if it's bold, italic, and this is all built into Visual Basic so that you don't have to create your own window for this. So we'll go ahead and create a new project we will just call it font dialog we'll go ahead and click OK and once that's done loading we'll come in here and we will add a text box and a button okay so we'll come over here to the toolbox we'll open that up we'll add a button and a text box. We'll make it multi line and we'll just stretch it out a bit. Okay, so let's set the text for button <coughs> for button one to change font and we will set the name to button font. So we'll just make this a little bit bigger so you can see everything and we'll double click on change font. So whenever change font opens, what we want to do is we want to show a font dialog uh, that will let them uh, change the font. Now we could do this by coming down here, going to dialogs and selecting a font dialog, but I want to show you guys a different way of creating one. So whenever they click, click font, what we want to do is declare a new font dialog. So dim my font as new font dialog and we just need to create a uh, we have to um, use windows.forms.fontdialog Okay, so now that we've created a font dialog, what we want to do is we want to show it. So we'll type my font dot show dialog. So now what we want to do is whatever font they selected in there, let's go ahead and set that to the text box. So text box one dot font is going to be equal to my font dot font. So let's go ahead and run this. And you can see here that we have form one. So we'll just go ahead and type some stuff in here. We'll click change font. It looks like we need to create a new windows.forms.font dialog. And we'll go ahead and just drag this arrow up right here. So it'll start running from there. Okay, so now you can see that it has created our font dialog. Let's go ahead and select something like uh, most wasted. Uh, we'll make it bold oblique and we'll make it a little bit bigger. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see here that we can type whatever we want and it's going to show up in that new font. Now we can keep changing the font here uh, to whatever we want. So we can do some symbols. So go ahead and uh, mess around a bit with the change font dialog. There's a bunch of stuff that you can use with it. Um, and once you've uh, got familiar with that and you know how to use it, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.